Days after an SUV carrying seven young men and women was involved in a horrific accident in Dehradun that killed six of them, police in Uttarakhand are trying to drive home the importance of road safety among the state's youth. Hi, so this video is about the tragic accident that happened in Dehradun. Uh, I would like to say a couple of things that are just wavering in my mind and I am thinking that a lot of people watching this video will also echo what I am trying to say. Uh, first of all, the car was new, so can we put the people who are selling the car at responsibility? Maybe they can have the car at a limited speed in the beginning of the time, if that makes sense. Can we have the car not going above 60, not going above 80? That would really reduce the amount of accidents because I think most often than not, these things are happening because of adrenaline driven hormones, teenagers just getting their car, um, you know, papa's uh, money is being spent wisely and they're getting these cars and this is happening often. This is, I think, the fourth or fifth type of tragic accident that I've heard of. And the highways are getting longer and the highways are getting more in numbers also. So this is going to keep on increasing. And that's why I thought of creating this video. First, the first responsibility comes of the parents, right? After the parents, the teacher's responsibility comes in. So I'm thinking all the university teachers, all the teachers that are there who are taking the responsibility of educating the kids, they are supposedly responsible for these accidents because they have not done their duty. That's what I'm thinking. And the third responsibility is of the hotel that uh, dispensed the alcohol in the first place. You are responsible for this because you are giving something in, in exchange of money and without knowing its consequence and you can see what the consequence can be. There are stop points at every point that this accident has managed to avoid. You know, the parents did not do their duty, then the teachers did not do their duty, then the uh, hotel guys did not do their duty, the people who sold the car did not do their duty. If they had put the speed limits, if they had a sensor, an alcoholic sensor in the car, and the car would just not go above 60, isn't that possible? I mean, look at Arduino, these kind of uh, gadgets that are out there, the computers that are there, so minuscule and so small. You cannot afford this kind of sensors and put them in every car. And I think that would really solve the problems. Uh, the highways themselves, they have to have this kind of uh, uh, lighting systems where the cars are traveling. The GPS has to be involved in this. If they are using the GPS, the GPS should guide you to the car above and straight ahead of you. So many things could have done to uh, stop these uh, lives from getting lost from us and uh, no amount of remorse you know can get them back but I think in the future if you are a teacher you can take some five cents from this you know and do your you do your duty I mean this is really sad this is a, a sort of thing that is going to repeat that's why I'm doing this video and uh, parents come on this is not uh, the way you treat your children or give to your children and not give them responsibility with every gift that you give them. This is a, a it's a weapon, as I keep on saying, a one or two ton weapon that you're giving your kids. You have to teach them responsibility and hotels. You, you really need to get your act together. If you're a state that's selling alcohol and your hotels are giving alcohol and then letting these people run around, they are not running around. See, I'm not saying the people are bad, I'm saying the alcohol is making them bad. This is bringing the worst out of them. And uh, there's no judgment of the people who have died. I'm telling the alcohol messes up your system. It diminishes your ability to sense things, right? We can all agree on that. So that's what I'm trying to say. It diminished the ability of the driver to see what is ahead and that's how this accident happened. And we can see it's such a tragic way that these people died. I mean, imagine just going like that. How would you feel? You are just, you are just lost in a way. Even in the spiritual world, you are lost. What just happened to you? And I think this is really sad. So, yeah, I mentioned my points. It's not a vent. It's actual, genuine uh, sort of uh, understanding of the truth. And I'm trying to do my my bit to try to see it doesn't happen again. Thank you.